starts the fight there, but is that enough damage to go through a Nether Realm, especially early on? And if you focus on the Nether Realm on, on popping it, who is it towards? Ooh, the no two man way. Petra five for mid and eat and drop oh! low for mid with the flicker, but Marl picks up the first blood. Doesn't allow him to get out of there. Because well, if you look at the emblems right here, Team Lilgun, they understand that they have to maneuver around a lot of crowd control. Three people going in for the agility and for Ethan with the Wilderness Blessing as well. Ah, oh, Johnson's facial migration gonna get the combo onto Forbid, but not enough damage to finish off. Oh. And here comes Exora, he uses the oh. Red doesn't get the kill on Fangor. That's gonna go over to Aizen, but he's dropping real low. I gonna know. force Marl to actually jump out of there. Penalty zone wasted. Here comes Castle, though, flickers in, gets the stun, but again, not enough damage. No level four. He can't do anything with this. Ethan, he could punish, but he himself, not level four yet. Still gonna chase him to the ends of the earth though. Ooh, Ooh Troublemaker! He finds Exora, steals the purple, and gets out like a maniac. You weren't lying when he said the Troublemaker wanted to be up front. This man hits level four and is like, you know what? Give me everything. The awareness to go for the jungle right there too. You know what? Give me everything. The awareness to go for the jungle right there too, man, with Team Lilgans just over chasing. Oh. But now they're going for a fight again. Yeah, that's gonna be Violet Requiem on the eyes and beautiful combo, not allowing the Tarizla to do anything. Marl secures the turtle. They are looking clean. I mean, the layering of the CC so far, the overall game sense coming in from Umbrella Squad. The real question is how long is this laning phase actually going to last? Some people like to actually- Ooh, Ooh. Sexora nearly dead, but Netherrealm saves him, keeps him alive for now. They get the pick off on the Troublemaker in exchange for the Martis. Bangor gonna get picked off. That's gonna go to a double kill as Bebex finally punishes Umbrella Squad. And for them, as now we're looking at another huge team fight, maybe four before without the gold laners. Gonna be scary here. Hilm Lil Gun gonna be the ones in position. Castle gonna be holding on to that final slash, waiting for the best combination timing with the Minuan Fury. Guts it, goes for it, pushes Exora out of position. Eyes and penalty zone misses. Nether Realm comes out, turtle dropping. 40% the two man fatal migration. Sexora is picked up. Turtle is secured by Marl. Double kill for Troublemaker and a killing spree for Umbrella Squad to top it all off. So like, is that like enough damage or are we talking a little less there? <laughs> I mean, I feel like just get the final slash down and start something against Lil Gun. Get them to commit. Troublemaker though, he's looking for the chance. He swaps Bebex, oh. the flicker, will it save him? Corrosive Strike is a torn apart memory. They trade for each other, but Bebex gets the shutdown and now Sexora <laughs> is on a decimate streak. Picks off the cow, chasing down Black March. Castle looking to get the defense here. Flickers in, stuns up Lil Gun to make sure that the gold lane no longer threatened, but it's Castle himself who's in danger. He's regening a lot, but he's gonna eventually fall. Penalty zone finds Black March over the wall. Nether Realm allowing Lil Gun to continue to pursue and Marl will be able to keep his gold laner safe at least. Chaotic fight from both teams. And for Lilgun, see, when they use the Nether Realm reactively properly, they do come out ahead. In the turtle fight earlier, they're forced to use it a bit early, but look at his play, Troublemaker. Um, he finds the Violet Requiem. Somehow Troublemaker actually getting a 1v1 kill up the Forbid. In the meantime, though, bot lane, Marl dropping real low. Misses the Decimate, and Zexora gets picked off as a result. Sets up for Marl, Violet Requiem onto Aizen. But here comes Bebex. He's doing some damage, making sure the Umbrella Squad cannot get an easy pick off. It's just so dangerous for Real Gun right now, because at every single moment, Troublemaker outputs the damage so, so early. He's baiting a lot of crowd control and even the Nether Realm from Team Lil Gun. So they have to be a bit more aggressive almost in order to know exactly when that Nether Realm needs to be used. They cannot allow Umbrella Squad to be the ones to decide when the fight really breaks out. Yeah, I, I, I don't think they're going to get to that point just yet. I think that Team Little Gun is going to have to just sacrifice this early as they transition into the mid to late just to get some magic resist because it, nobody can technically open up the map reliably because the Troublemaker basically one-shots anybody who checks the bush. Ooh, they find Black Mars here. He's gonna force the flicker out. Ethan actually not quite able to connect the Shadow Stampede. So the Bruno will survive, but the Tier 1 Tower won't.
seems like right now, Lilgan are like splitting and they're not really sure where to play around when they have Bebex with a three kill advantage. Oh no, Ethan. Ethan might get swatted out. Netherrealm used quite early wow. again. Minwin Fury finds one. That's gonna be Netherrealm used up. But Fangor dropping low. Zexora, can he get the decimate? Yes, he does. That's gonna be a dead cow on the side of Umbrella Squad. And now Team Lilgan are looking for more. That's the double kill for Zexora. He spots Castle. He wants it, but he's under the tower. So he should be able to get out. Torn apart memory. Throwing him real low. Just one hit. From death. Mile, Violet Requiem trying to zone out Lil Gun. Oh. And Trouble Maker goes in! Four men petrify! Picks off Bebex, but there's just too much health here. That's a killing spree for Zexora. Anybody? Yeah, not quite enough for now, but we'll have to see what kind of options Bebek goes for here in order to get some defensive items but still some damage. On the other flip side though for Umbrella Squad and Tweak Cuirass is built in for the Arlot and the Minotaur. They know for sure that the Torn Apart Memory and the Decimate is going to be the main problem for them. Yeah and the fact that Troublemaker has three completed items already and they're not cheap items. The, the cheapest most eco economic one was going to be the Genius one but he's already completed uh, the Holy Crystal and as well as the Divine Glaive on top of that. Well, this is a scary cushion right here. Lilgan has to watch his positioning as we see Castle engage on the Forbid. Final slash. Is the Nether Realm gonna come out? Yes, it will. Right on time for the Minuet Fury. Oh. But Maul in the back line. He's looking for Violet Requiem. Forbid gonna be able to escape. Bangor gonna use his very own Minuet Fury now. Team Lilgan forced on the defensive. Troublemaker looking for the angle. Oh. He jumps in. Gets the three man damage on the Shadow Blade Slaughter. And they're looking for one more. Zexora not able to escape. Troublemaker with the shutdown and a triple kill! He's huge. He's too big, man! It's too much trouble! And Team Wilgun don't want that smoke. Look at that! Grazing them. They're doing a lot of damage. There's just so much threat available. And Team Wilgun, they're over-relying on this Nether Realm. It's just not doing enough. They're losing turrets and they're gonna lose this lore on a void. Just getting completely dominated. I, I think the best part about the Barrel Squad is the way that they approach these fights, right? Like, yes, Troublemaker is doing a lot of damage. Oh, Whoa! Troublemaker is insane! Flies in, taunts Lil Gun, gets out, Scott free, and Final Slash gonna push Aizen out of position. Uses the penalty zone to get out the safety. Even the Nether Realm being used very early here by Team Lil Gun. All right, time for that second wave. You know what's gonna happen here, Barrel Squad. Do the dive. Do the dive. Let's see if they're gonna go for it. Oh, oh. here comes Castle Flickers and Final Slash finds Tree. Bebex is gone. Forbid is gone. That's a mega double kill for Troublemaker once again. The trouble continues for Team Lil Gun. Crystal is open. Minwin Fury stops them in their track. Troublemaker is getting Whoa. more. Triple kill for the Gucci Maniac. Give it to him. Give it to him. And he gets eaten. The crystal's wide open. He's oh. looking for it. He jumps in. Final Slash. Can he get the oh. No! But they kept the game, so that is worth it anyway! Oh my god, I literally look back and he's just like, dude! <laughs> dude!